I thought it would be cool to do a video going over all the former IPF world records. Uh, just analyzing the lifters overall style, uh, getting into where they put their feet, how they're gripping the bar, where they're putting the shirt, and how that all comes together to form one cohesive bench. So starting it off with Japan in the 59 kilo class. This guy's an M1 benching, what is that, almost four times his body weight. Uh, so just like I've said before, you have to get really, really, really high up on the traps. So guys, super high on his traps. He's using a more foot back style. So that's going to give him probably a higher arch, a, a higher rib position. Um, however, if he's touching very low on the chest, he's not going to get a lot of assistance to bring the bar back up towards his face. He's also using a bulldog grip, which is going to allow for more wrist extension. There you go, can really see that grip. Uh, more wrist extension, which possibly could be making up for the very uh, tucked back style. Uh, that wrist extension is going to help the bar naturally go back towards the face. And with most of these guys, you can see he does have the sleeves very low on the elbows. He kind of misgrooves it there. Again, no help off the... There's no horizontal assistance with that foot back style, so he presses a bit straight because uh, he's not getting that assistance, and it comes back. And this guy also, Japan, 66, benching 250. Uh, you can see he has the collar jacked pretty low there. Uh, fairly low collar position. He's got on small heels, the power lifts. Again, this was back when you were allowed to put your feet up on the bench. Uh, so that's a low cut collar shirt. The elbows, he's emphasizing keeping the elbows out, so his hands are probably a little bit internally rotated, if I had to guess. He is using a belt. I think the past guy may have not been using a belt. I'm not sure. The belt will affect things. So most of these guys are wearing bench belts. You can see a ton of wrist extension there. Look how far back his wrists are. Again, a very narrow stance. So this narrow stance, it, it does allow a huge arch. But if you're not getting that crazy wrist extension, I think you will just end up pressing straight. And in an equipped bench, you just can't get away with pressing straight. It just won't go anywhere. Daiki is the god of the uh, bench. Uh, Daiki does use some wrist extension. He does a two-part bench here. So he pauses it and then he keeps going down. He's actually got a pretty high collar position on that low-cut collar bench shirt. A lot of wrist extension. I'm not sure why he would use such a high collar position if he's using the LCC. Uh, again, his feet are not that wide or in front of him. So again, it, perhaps if he jacks that collar too low, he's not getting assistance to press the bar back. This fella has a very aggressively jacked shirt. Uh, 315 from Kazakhstan. So he's also in a low-cut collar shirt. Uh, for a while, a lot of people were trying to make it work. I think the majority of individuals probably shouldn't be in a low-cut collar. Again, slightly internally rotated hands. That's something you really see. I think he just retook the M1 world record this past week. Super, look how far out his elbows are. So that's what that's allowing him to do is uh, he's going to be stretching out the chest plate a ton here. And you can see this is a tough touch. That's a low touch still. That is a very, very aggressive bench. Uh, jacking the shirt so much. A very tight line, uh, especially, again, that narrower stance. If you start to get off balance during that, you've got no chance of salvaging it. Feet are back, so he's getting that really high arch. And even he's got a good amount of wrist extension, but I would really note how flared out he was during that unrack process. Where was it here? His arms are pretty much completely out to the side. So a lot of people, when they're new in the shirt, they'll be overly tucking it. Their elbow will be here, and they'll be almost jamming it out of the rack. But he is super open. The weight is out here on him. It's not, it's, he's not tightly squeezing the bar. A bulldog grip again, I think. He's actually beyond max legal, but again... Because the rule says the referee, so you can't see it from the front, so the front ref can't see that, and that is a legal bench. 
Uh, he's covered the ring technically. So he's getting a very wide grip, and he's also very, very open. So when he comes down with this, the chest plate is just stretching a ton, and he, he's mitigated a lot of the ROM. That's an uncomfortable position. <laughs> there we go. Who's the next individual here? 335 Kazakhstan. Is this the same fella? You can see that you can see how he's angled his fingers there. Much less jacked on the chest plate if that is him again. can't tell. That is a very similar style, but just the chest plate not jacked. Uh, but again, internally rotated wrists, tucked back foot position, and having all that wrist extension is helping him come back with the weight. Uh, Russia, 346. Look how low these sleeves are by the elbows, and he's also jacked the front of his shirt. So this is about the most aggressive style you could wear a bench shirt. Much more standard grip. This is much more standard. Uh, the Japanese are known for internally rotating more and getting that sort of elbows out -y style. Doesn't even look like he's max legal there. Uh, there's the ring. He could bring that finger over another inch almost per side. So a narrow grip, which is very unusual for equipped benching. Almost everyone has a, a very wide grip. Yeah. That's an uncomfortable position. Uh, sleeves are super low, and you can really see how jacked that collar is. Here we go. This is the first guy we've seen to have a wider foot stance. Because of that wider foot stance, did you see how much assistance he got out of the bottom there in pressing back? So very low touch point. If he can't press back and it presses straight, he's just going to instantly miss it. And you'll see his body, his whole body shifts towards the head of the rack. There we go. Show a replay here. There we go. See his whole body shifting back. And that is because, yeah, his, his knee is, or his heel is still behind his knee, but it is a wider foot placement. It is going to allow for more of that assistance. Uh, if his feet were way tucked back, probably wouldn't get that assistance. Very impressive. Russia, 365. That's a huge bench, 120. Let's see what that looked like. Low collar, very low sleeves. The elbows are barely visible. That is legal, though. If you bend your elbows and the referee can see your elbows, uh, that, is, that is a clean uh, position. They have to be visible, though. He's got a bench belt as well. Most of these guys will have bench belts. Uh, every now and again, you'll see a lifter without a belt, and uh, maybe I'll show it afterwards, Musienko. Uh, we can get into that. More of a standard grip again. Feet are fairly wide. They are fairly tucked back. Yeah, that's that's quite tucked back. So he might get away with this because of the uh, very short range of motion. Uh, his wrist, though, look, they are still in a good amount of extension. So none of these guys are benching with straight wrists. You'll also see, as he starts the movement here, he's not starting it with the elbows in. He's trying to really ch stretch that chest plate. Still ends up with a crazy low touch point. That is really hard to come back from. But look how much extension his wrist is in. That is incredible to salvage that. Again, look, he's actually beyond the ring there, uh, but it is covered from the judge's view, so it is legal. That was bananas. I thought they might reshow it. Blaine, Blaine is the guy who coached me. 425-ish here, about 900 pounds. So Blaine is going to go super wide, 
And I think part of this is also because uh, Blaine was almost 400 pounds, and he's g sitting on this tiny little bench, and he's got 425 kilos on the bar. I think it balance became a really, really big variable for him, I think. Uh, Blaine, more of a typical style of grip, and I wonder if that's just because once you're over 900 pounds, uh, maybe getting into excessive wrist extension or a lot of internal rotation might just not be possible with that much absolute weight. Blaine, not using a low-cut collar. I think that's just a regular super katana, but he does jack it a good amount. But again, if he was in a low cut and trying to touch, I think he would be way over here and just not a point you can recover from. Very low sleeves. Look how low his sleeves are. Even when he bends his elbow, they're just barely visible. Super wide stance. He was a huge proponent of the wide stance. And just shifts back. So the bench I wanted to show was, um, that's belted, Musienko. So Musienko is a uh, incredible bencher. Here's 346 and a half from today, yesterday. Uh, he has benched, I think, 350 in the 93s. Uh, he weighed about 95 yesterday. Uh, but Musienko, very high bar position in the hands, internally rotated a ton of wrist extension. I have no idea how his wrist doesn't want to break here. Uh, quite a moderate foot stance. It's tucked back a little bit, but it is pretty wide. So in my opinion, he's getting a good amount of balance assistance. He's going to get a good amount of leg drive. And interestingly, he goes beltless with the low cut collar. And uh, I don't even think he jacks the collar here. Yeah, that collar looks actually fairly high up, so it is a low-cut collar, meaning it can be jacked lower, and the default setting is lower than a Super Katana or an F6, but uh, very high collar position, very low sleeves, and a ton of wrist extension. Uh, the beltless position is also allowing him to get a humongous arch. Uh, the, I wonder if he uses the low-cut collar because it does tend to stay in place without the assistance of a belt, and perhaps the belt just hinders his arch. Uh, this is absolutely textbook. I wonder uh, if I can find it. 350-ish, 355, 351.5. Uh, same thing, beltless, pretty moderate stance. Very, very, very low sleeves. Not a very jacked chest plate at all. Anyway, I don't know. Hope that helps. I uh, hope that sort of gives some insight into how benching in a shirt uh, works. There's a lot of variables to it, and if you don't have one component on point, you might end up uh, struggling a lot more than you would otherwise. Uh, we'll go through the woman maybe tomorrow or the day after, and uh, I don't know. I'll think of something else. Hope that helps.